Today, we're continuing our 12-part series, Reclaim Your Life. The road to recovery is difficult for any addict, and it doesn't stop when treatment ends. As I found out when I visited Transformations Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida, and met the people behind their alumni program. When somebody comes to a Transformations Treatment Center, they have hit rock bottom, whatever that means to them. Um, some people live on the street, some people might have lost their children, and they come here to get help. And 30 days is just the start of their new life. This is kind of an artificial world to them. When they get out in the real world, they're going to have to use the tools that they learned here, out there. You know, they're gonna have to use coping skills. We have a holistic program. When they leave here, we give them each discharge plans for their individual um, treatment. And if we can continue to guide them and encourage them to stay on that track, they'll be able to continue their sobriety. Whatever encouragement they need to stay away from a drug or a drink, we're going to do that. Helena Cabral is no stranger to the lives of those entering and leaving treatment for drug and alcohol addiction. As the alumni director for Transformations Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center in Delray Beach, Florida, she oversees a staff of workers who are all former patients themselves. And that's what makes the alumni program here so successful. Not a lot of people understand addiction. Um, so having somebody as close to us as you know the alumni department is great. They understand you know, what we go through, um, the loss of not being able to get high, the loss of family, you know, all the emotions that come back with not getting high anymore. And they're just always there to listen. Helena, why is it so important that people who work here in the alumni department were once patients themselves? Everybody in my department is an alumni of Transformations. We all have over a year's sobriety, and we not just be able to tell them what they need to do. We can talk the talk because we walk the walk. We encourage them to continue in their sobriety. We can guide them, we can give them suggestions um, to be able to tell them like other people have done it, you can too. So how do you stay in contact with someone who leaves Transformation Treatment Center? I'm sure many of them leave the state or maybe just go back home. We follow up with them just like they, if they stayed local. We call them, email them, um, stay in contact constantly. And then we also have our social media websites. Facebook is very big on us being able to stay in contact with people. I'm very open with them about my own recovery, so I'm posting pictures of what's going on in my personal life, showing them that you can have fun in sobriety because that's one of the number one things that you hear from the alumni, that they're afraid that they're not going to have fun because they, they don't know like what to do next. And so we're there to help them and show them that you can have fun. There is things to do without um, being messed up. Besides offering a lifeline of support to anyone who has graduated from treatment, the alumni department has created an active and fun program for alumni to stay connected and focused on their road to recovery, including backyard barbecues, movies, team events, and sports outings, as well as an alumni meeting every Wednesday night in which awards are handed out for sobriety. And we have a friend of theirs give it to them because each month that they get in sobriety in their first year is a huge accomplishment and we want to make sure that they know that. Just doing things that are fun and getting them to laugh and enjoy life because they're not going to continue on the path if they don't enjoy life. Now Helena, a lot of the clients here after they leave, they leave with the best intentions to stay sober and to not fall again into that addiction. But let's be honest, there is a lot of relapse. What do you do to make sure your client stays on that road to recovery? I want to make sure that um, every client knows that we're there for them and that you know we are also in recovery. So we can help them, we can give them suggestions, and we're going to do whatever we need to to make sure that they stay on the right path. Helena, you've seen so many people leave here and move on with their life. And obviously your wish is that they stay sober and that they never become an addict again. When that happens, how does it make you feel? It is very rewarding. It's fulfilling and it just continues to give me hope and encouragement to keep growing the Alumni Department at Transformation so I can change more people's lives. For me, it's just a reminder that this program does work 
If you put in the footwork, I carry it with me everywhere. I have a better understanding on what life is today, and it's, it's one of the greatest feelings ever. It's a lifelong journey of recovery, even after the treatment ends, but the alumni of Transformations is there to help every step of the way. We hope you'll join us again in our Reclaim Your Life series as we show you how Transformations Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center continues to help those in addiction on the road to recovery. Next time, we're going to see how their housing program helps teach patients the life skills needed in recovery. Remember, for more information, you can go to transformationstreatment.center or our website, thebalancingact.com.